Now let's talk about some technical assumptions about our constraint sets and our objective functions. Usually uh, you will find that these technical assumptions are automatically satisfied, um, but we will still have some examples why they are important and in particular it will be important uh, to prove our theorems about convergence, convergence of our algorithms. And um, let's, let's first talk about the closeness of the set of constraints. Um, let's see an example. So if we want to minimize the, just some variable x um, such that x is greater than 0, and I mean strictly greater than 0, then the, like the desired um, minimum x equals 0 is not um, desired minimum in quotes is not in the constraint set. Okay and that's a problem because so our algorithm will typically typically do uh, like uh, like this it, it begins with some positive value of x as an approximation and then it will converge to um, to zero because it sees that the function is falling towards zero and then it will converge to to, to zero but we see uh, the the point x equals zero. The, the limit point is not a solution of the, of the of our problem because it's not in the feasible set of the problem. And we want to exclude this um, usually by the following assumption. Um, and the assumption is a set C. Uh, I don't assume that the set is convex here. And this is um, a uh, subset of our usual um, finite dimensional inner product space is closed if and there are two equivalent definitions I want to give you. The first one is like just um, that it's it's equal to its closure. Um, you know what the closure is from the um, fr from the from the first exercise. Uh, the other definition uh, is might be a bit more accessible. Uh, it's closed if for any so this is equivalent actually um, sequence x n um, in C. Um, which is convergent in H, the limit point of Xn is um, also in C. And this corresponds very, very well to what I said about our um, example problem here. Okay. Um, uh, essentially means that um, a set C uh, always contains its boundary. So if you want to draw a picture, um, then um, the boundary here, this is this uh, here is 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 a is an element of uh, is is a subset of the set C. Uh, in contrast, if you would um, just leave out this, this boundary, then it, uh, the subset would not be closed. And if you leave out all the boundary points, then the subset is open. Okay, so uh, this is what I wanted to say about closed sets. Um, now let's talk about proper functions. This will be a bit shorter. Definition. A function f with x with values in the extended real line 
is proper if um, basically it's proper if there exists a value um, uh, a point x such that f of x is not plus infinity and there is no Val, no point x such such that it is that the function takes the value minus infinity there, so that it is so a function is proper if uh, we had this domain and the domain of f should not be the empty set, which means uh, that uh, there are points in the domain and the domain is the uh, the set of points where the function value is less than plus infinity, so that's the um, that's one point and we also require that f of x is not minus infinity for any or yeah it's not for all x in h so it assumes a value different from plus infinity and it does not assume the value minus infinity. That's also a technical assumption because usually if, if the function is plus infinity everywhere then it doesn't make sense to do any optimization over it because that's like it's there is no there, there everything is all plus infinity. And if you have a point where, where the function takes the value minus infinity this is automatically a minimum so that's not very interesting either. Okay, and now let's come to lo lower semi-continuity, which might be a bit new to some of you. So definition, what we, what we want to make sure according, uh, uh, yeah, analogously to, to this example is whenever we converge, we don't do just by passing to the limit, um, jump upwards. So whenever we converge, we want to have the limit point to have, we want the limit point to have at least as good a function value as we would expect from the sequence of, of uh, function value of, uh, of, yeah, of function values at this sequence. Um, let's um, put this in words. Um, a function f defined uh, on the whole space with values in the extended real line is lower semi-continuous continuous, oh, semi continuous in point x in h if so what does this mean um, Whenever we have a, a function value in x, we want this to be less or equal than uh, the possible uh, limit uh, function values of, of sequences which converge to x. And the way to express this is to take the limit, the the the, the lower limit, uh, limits inferior, um, and we don't take n here. We take Uh, just a point x prime converging to x um, f of x prime and now I should define what this is this is the sup inf what we take here is we take the supremum overall neighborhoods of the lowest value within this neighborhood um, so x prime in the epsilon ball around x, um, which means that uh, norm of x prime minus x is less than epsilon. Uh, we have defined that. And then we take f of x prime um, where x prime is in this ball. So uh, we, we take the, the collection of neighborhoods and we, we always take for, for each neighborhood um, we define we, we take the the lowest point that f that f assumes in this neighborhood, and we then we shrink the neighborhood and take the 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 biggest uh, value um, 
for, for, for the neighborhood. And so wh whenever this epsilon gets smaller, then the, the ball gets smaller and the, the infimum gets larger because we are taking this over um, fewer values. Okay, then that's the definition. Now let's, uh, let's give an example for that. Um, by the way, I should define what the lower semi-continuous function is. So a function f um, our bar is um, lower semi-continuous and here without in x and h and I by the way I usually write this as lsc and if it is lsc in all x in h okay so we want this property to hold for all x just um, just for clarifications so let's give an example um, where this is not satisfied and, and, ex and we will also see how to fix that. So if we define f of x as x, if x greater than 0, 1, if x is equal to 0, and plus infinity if x is less than 0, um, then the function looks like this. Um, we are we have x here, then we have a hole here, we have this value here, and then we have plus infinity, which is like above everything. Um, so I can't write it into into this figure here. Um, so here we have the same thing. This, the desired minimum would be x equal to zero, as we had in our example for closeness. But the problem is here we have the, the value 1. And we see that this fa function actually is convex. So uh, convexity alone will, will not help to overcome this. And so this is not LSC in 0. Um, what can we do about, about this in order to fix this? Um, well, we have to take care of this value uh, in 0 and we can actually replace the, the, the function value with this function value which is on the right hand side of our definition. So the limit, the, the, the inferior limit would be like whenever you, you, you take the, the lowest, lowest limit for all, for, for all neighborhoods of 0 and this will always be 0. So if you replace this by 0 and then um, this makes f lsc. So then we would have, I'm not sure how visible this new color is here, um, we would have this function here and then actually everything uh, makes sense. And you, uh, why, do, why do we use lower sem semi-continuity instead of continuity? And the fixed function is still not continuous in, uh, in, in zero. So that is also a point which we could add. So this is not continuous in zero. And since we have said that we want to include constraints in, in, in our objective function, then it makes sense to, to allow plus infinity as, as values here and, and allow jumps from something finite to plus infinity, but only if these jumps lead to lower semi-continuous functions. And now we have basically all the technical assumptions for, our, uh, for, for objective functions. We require proper, closed, lower semi-continuous functions and for constraint sets, if they are not related to, to the properties of the, of the objective function, then usually we require um, non-empty, closed and convex sets.